curly Q hair, dimples for days, and the voice of a gangster. So why did a massive payday make her quit the biz? From big soda into thin air, here's why the Pepsi girl pieced out. Hallie Eisenberg's late 90s Pepsi commercials were iconic. She'd walk up to the soda counter and order a Pepsi. When they inevitably brought her Coke instead, she'd give the soda man a piece of her mind, launching into a gruff Godfather-esque monologue. Famous names like Joe Pesci even lent their voices to these ads. What you really thought was that I don't know the difference between Pepsi and a Coke, right? At the height of her reign as the Pepsi girl, Eisenberg went on to star in films like Polly and, once her Pepsi days were over, How to Eat Fried Worms. Her last on-screen project was in 2010 when she was featured in Holy Rollers, an R-rated departure from her previous acting jobs. But rather than cementing her status as a movie star and taking on more mature roles, she walked away from the industry completely. As has been proven time and time again by the likes of Lindsay Lohan, Macaulay Culkin, and Drew Barrymore, childhood stardom may come with sizable paychecks and powerful industry connections, but the lifestyle is far from easy. It can lead to strained family relationships and long-term mental health issues. Anxiety, addiction, and and even PTSD are not uncommon, and some showbiz parents have notoriously spent, rather than saved, all their children's movie money. But that might not be the worst of the pressure hoisted onto these well-known kids. No Pepsi? You might as well tell me there's no Santa Claus. During promotional tours for her film The Miracle Worker, where Eisenberg played an elementary school-aged Helen Keller, Jay Leno asked whether she thought Robin Williams, Matt Damon, or Ed Norton was cuter, before wondering what would happen if he asked her on a date too. Long before she celebrated her 10th birthday, the hosts of Regis and Kathy Lee were also asking about her dating life something that wouldn't exactly fly with the press today. But Eisenberg isn't the only young celeb to ditch the business. Mara Wilson, the star of 90s family favorites like Matilda and Mrs. Doubtfire, quit after poor conditions on the set of the 2000 film Thomas and the Magic Railroad. These days, she works as an author and journalist. Kay Panabaker, once a rising Disney star, now enjoys life as a zookeeper. Even Shirley Temple traded a career in acting for a later-in-life one in politics. For Eisenberg, college was preferable to the intense scrutiny that came with growing up in Hollywood. She attended American University in D.C., graduating with a degree in international studies. She's managed to remain out of the spotlight ever since, opting out of public social media accounts. But while Halle may have said goodbye to acting, her older brother certainly hasn't. He's Oscar-nominated actor Jesse Eisenberg, the star of blockbusters like The Social Network, Now You See Me, and Zombieland. Although Hallie is nearly a decade younger than her successful sibling, she broke into the business before he landed his first gig. If anything, she paved the way for him, not the other way around. When he was asked about collaborating with Hallie in the future, Jesse explained at an event, I don't need to work with her because I see her as my family at, you know, kind of events and gatherings and birthdays. It seems the two were able to enjoy their relationship off-camera. In fact, Hallie and her then-boyfriend, the voice contestant Owen Danoff, even shared an apartment with Jesse in New York City. In 2010, the Eisenbergs played on-screen siblings and Holy Rollers. Although this proved to be a successful first collab, it was also their last. Hallie said goodbye to the industry shortly after. The pair also have an older sister, Carrie Vera Lee, who works as an artist in New York. 